Dispose of this annoyance at once. Ah, shit. Sorry about that, everyone. A little technical hiccup. Wear her kimono? Yeah, it's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Kyoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue, and I suggested that she use it. Then, the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the killer. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. I, I get it. I lost. Boil me, burn me, take off my clothes, do whatever you want to me. Oh, thank God Terra Terra is dead. Hajime, now's your chance. Make her admit defeat. Uh, damn it, Kazuichi. Then, the killer probably couldn't have assumed that Hiyoko would go to the music venue. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hiyoko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. Don't go doubting this Sonya, you cretin. I'll put you and your hamster six feet under. <laughs> Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Gundam, please stop! For his sake. <laughs> what do you mean, for my sake? Uh, she know. Of course. I've already overlooked no less than ten opportunities to kill you. Even if the killer couldn't predict it, why did Hyoko get killed in the music venue? The only thing I can think of is, it was an unfortunate coincidence. Coincidence? When she went to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? It probably happened. When the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki, the killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head. And without hesitation, killed Hiyoko. Because the killer used that coincidence for their crime, it made this case even trickier. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. Uh. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki. Do you have any ideas? <laughs> Damn, you don't know the most important part. The killer's plan at the beginning. I'm pretty sure we're very, very close. Hey, Nagito. Any ideas? Hey, how long are you gonna stay quiet? Oh, am I allowed to speak? <laughs> I'm so uh, you happy fucker. I'm getting goosebumps. Everyone actually needs help from scum like me. So what do you think? What do you think, you thinking about fucking shitter? My mouth shut. But now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. Huh? What are you talking about? We already knew that. I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. But now I remember, there was blood on Ibuki's slippers. So if she faked her death and walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene, there'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no- You know, we already finished talking about that a while ago. Huh. Really? That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be. No, wait a minute. If Buki had blood in her feet, there'd be footprints all over the place if she kept walking around. That's strange. That's very strange. This is strange? Well, what's strange? I see. It's not something we finished talking about. Those footprints, there's still an important clue left that we completely overlooked. Just as Nagito said, if she had blood on her feet, she would have had left footprints. Then why weren't there any footprints on the... Step ladder. 
can prove it with this. If Ibuki used the stepladder to hang herself, it's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. Huh? There weren't? Yeah. That stepladder was completely clean. No footprints or bloodstains at all. Do you notice such a small detail? How amazing! This is truly the talent of a chosen ultimate! What are you talking about? <laughs> You're obviously leading us to this. That's why you brought the suicide topic after all this time. Nagito Komaeda. You're definitely someone I shouldn't underestimate. But didn't you say you saw that video of Ibuki climbing the step ladder? Then I think there's no doubt that she really did climb it. Unless there was something funny about that video. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video, hmm? But that's something only Hajime would know, since he's the only one who saw that video. So, just as I thought, it comes down to that. The mystery surrounding this incident is contained in that video. And whether or not we can reach that hidden truth is all up to me. Hajime, I leave it in your hands. As oh, thanks, I bitch. This to you, I won't tell you to do your best, but... Oh well, you should get started already. Yeah, I'll definitely try. If there was some hidden clue in that video, I should have seen something strange as I watched it. I'm the only one who can clear that up. The only one who, can, who actually saw that video. So I'm the only one who can do it. The hanging video that I saw. Based on everything we know from the debate thus far, I should be able to figure out what was strange. Okay. Black curtain in the background, huh? Based on that video alone, I don't I don't know if the curtain is in a spot or not. I need to remember what, Okay, so it's not the curtain, so it is Here! Here. There's no blood stain on the step ladder. That's right, I remember now. There was definitely something strange about that video. Can you explain it to us? What's strange is that stepladder I mentioned earlier. It's true that the steps of that stepladder weren't dirty, but on one side, there was a bloodstain right on the left side of the stepladder. However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. There weren't any bloodstains on the stepladder in the video. It was completely clean. That is truly strange. If the video showed the moment of Yubuki's death, then Yoko should have already been dead by that point. Even so, the fact is the stepladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. The stepladder in the video is completely bloodless. There's no way the video was recorded in advance. If that's the case, the only thing I can think of is... It's possible those two stepladders were completely different. Wait, are you saying there were two stepladders? But where would you find another stepladder? There was only one stepladder in the music venue. Then one of the stepladders was somewhere other than the music venue. <laughs> what do you mean? You're suggesting that the stepladder in the video isn't the only thing that's different. Am I right? That's amazing, Chiaki. All that gaming has given you incredible deduction skills. Is it okay to say that? What are you two talking about? The stepladder is the only thing that's different, huh? Shocky said that the stepladder was at a different place, but if that's the case, then the thing that's different between the videos and the actual scene of the crime is that thing. Is that thing the place where the killer... Oh. Okay. Hangman's Gambit. What do we got? God. Okay. Dang it. No. 
God damn it. Whew. Were, were they filmed? Because despite everyone saying it's not a recording and it's impossible for it to be a recording, it's apparently a recording. Shit, give me a fucking... Oh, you fucking cock. <sighs> Swear to God, if I lose because these goddamn letters... Damn it. Filming location where they filmed that not what? filmed at all. Besides the step ladder, the filming location must have been different too. What do you mean? I mean the video I saw was not filmed at the music thing. It was filmed somewhere else. The conference room. But the hospital monitor is supposed to display footage captured by the music thing camera, you know? Then there's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera unit. In order to show us that they filmed the video at a music venue instead of somewhere else, what did the killer do to that surveillance camera unit? Logical Diver! Question one. What part of the surveillance camera unit did the killer tamper with? Uh, fuck, damn it. Yeah, they would have moved the camera. Go so slow when I'm not just fucking speeding down this goddamn logic path. <sighs> the killer tamper with the camera at the hospital or the music venue? The music venue. music venue camera and put it in the conference room in the hospital. Question Trace. What did the killer do with the camera at the music venue's surveillance camera unit? They took it with them. Huzzah! I did it! It's all coming together! I'm the smartest boy! 
I say having failed multiple things throughout this entire trial. That's it. The killer just brought the camera from the music video. With it, they made me think it was a live feed from the venue, when it was actually from somewhere else. Then, only the monitor was left in the music venue? Yes. At least when I first discovered Ibuki's body. But when Gyoko's body appeared, the killer probably put the camera back too. That means you should have realized that from the start and made this easier on all of us. He did discover the body. You motherfuckers haven't done camera. shit this entire fucking trial. Only Chiaki's been on the fucking up and up. In order to hide that the camera was missing, the killer did one more thing to the remaining monitor. Was fucking destroyed that bitch. The killer smashed the monitor to pieces, destroying it. As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. My attention was so focused on the body that even I couldn't have noticed something like that. And I'm the, the best at noticing Hajime things. Left the music venue, the killer put back the camera they took. And they destroyed it and left that in pieces as well. It's easy to say it was filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair efforts, the fact that it was able to connect between the hospital and the music venue is amazing enough. Which means even if it was filmed at another place, as long as it was transmitting to the hospital, the range would be pretty limited. If that's the case, where was the where was the video filmed to make it look like it was filmed at the music venue? The only possibility is that place inside that building. All right, now let's wait 19 letters before I get a fucking C for conference room. <laughs> I was fucking joking. Oh my god. right now. There we go, laddie. Possible that it was filmed at the hospital's conference room. Huh? Conference room? But the hospital and the music venue look completely different. That's exactly why the killer did something to make those two places resemble each other. Today the conference room looked like the music venue, the killer went ahead and did some work. I've got to make it clear what the work was. Hotel room, key, scrapbook, paper, music, venue, curtain, I believe. There's no way the conference room and the music venue look the same. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? There it is. That must be it. What the killer did was make the music venue, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. 
From what I remember, there used to be a really flashy curtain. But after the incident, it somehow became a plain black curtain that didn't seem to be the right size. That's right! It's so half-assed, just like Monami. Oh, yeah? Well, your face looks stupid. Kill him! That curtain was hung so the music venue would look like a conference room? In actuality, even though the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, it is a black light blocking curtain that's long enough to reach the floor. I see. Okay, I'm not thinking it's Kazuichi anymore. Indeed, the floor of that room is the same color as the music venue stage. So the killer chose the conference room because they realized the floor matched. Matching floors, matching curtains. I guess it makes sense you'd mistake the two. But that's not all. There should be something else the killer did to tamper with the evidence. Probably. The candle! I can prove it with this. You stage light and they recognize it wasn't the fucking... You're referring to the candle and the music video, right? In the video I saw, a candle was used for light. If you think about it, it's pretty strange. The music video has good light, so there's no reason to even use candle light. But wouldn't they have done it to make it feel creepier? That might have been another reason, but the main reason was probably to tamper with evidence. The lighting in the conference room and the music venue are so different. They couldn't be used during filming. That's why the killer used a candle as film lighting instead. Which means... Are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually used? That candle was likely placed there just to make me think it was the same candle that was used in the video. With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Maybe they were going for that effect. With that cheap-ass camera, it won't capture much in a dark area. As long as this all matches up, it should be no problem to say this is the site. The video I saw wasn't filmed at the music venue. It was actually filmed at the hospital conference room. If I'd found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. But it appears the killer already covered that up, so I didn't find anything when I went there. But there's no mistake. That's the only place within the connection range of the surveillance Sorry, I doubted camera. you, buddy. The motel would have been too far, and the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. But this must be a surprising turn of events for Hajime. You never suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. The incident isn't happening at the scene of a crime. It's occurring in the conference room. I feel like I've heard Bayside cops say that before. Isn't it the other way around? Um, if Ibuki's hanging video was filmed at the hospital's conference room, then was Ibuki killed at the conference room too? No, that's not possible. Right after Hajime saw that video, he discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue. That video was filmed at the conference room, but Ibuki's body was at the music venue. Which means there was a fake somewhere. The fake must have been uh, the Ibuki in the conference room. I see! person wearing the hint bag in that video wasn't Ibuki. It was the killer pretending to be Ibuki. The killer put on a hospital gown, wore a hint bag on their head, and was only pretending to be the victim. By that time, the real Ibuki must have already been killed. The actual time of death must have been earlier. Probably around midnight or dawn to avoid witnesses. If they took Ibuki from the music venue to the hospital to kill her, there's no way it happened during the day. So that's what happened. Then no matter how quickly I ran, it was impossible for me to rescue Ibuki. At that moment, I was already in the killer's trap. And the one who set the trap for me was... But why did the killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? The reason the killer made a fake video... There's only one possibility I can think of. If I examine that possibility thoroughly, then naturally the killer's identity will reveal itself. Huh? You feed! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? Yeah, I'm that fucking good, bruh. That's right, I should already know. 
I should have already known who the killer is. It's me! Nah, it would be... Yep, she knew how to fucking... She knew how to work body temperatures in order to fuck up a time of death. Uh, declaration, she had access to hospitals, she had access to all the shit. Uh, she was the only one around at midnight who would have been able to do that, who wasn't from the fucking homo who wasn't from the fucking motel. You're the only one! You're the killer, aren't you? I'm waiting for the switch up. Like I said, aren't you the killer who murdered Ibuki and Hioka? The killer? Hey, don't you think that's kind of impossible? A chick like her is the killer? She couldn't even kill a fly. In fact, the fly would probably kill her first. She's right! A clumsy slowpoke like me killing someone? That's completely out of the question. But we're the only ones. Thanks to that video, we're the only ones who have the advantage of an alibi. An alibi? Was that the killer's goal? Now that you mention it, you guys brought that up early. Only Hajime and me can't have an alibi. <laughs> it's just a coincidence! But you're the only one who could have filmed that video in the hospital conference room. Is that also a coincidence? <laughs> At that time, you said you were going to the on-call room. But you actually went to the conference room. That's when you put on a hospital gown that you prepared in advance, put the bag on your head, and began filming. By doing that, you made up a video that showed Ibuki trying to hang herself at the music venue. And showed that to me. <laughs> Furthermore, I saw that video at the hospital lobby. If someone wants to go to the conference room from outside, they have to pass through the lobby. So it's impossible that someone who wasn't already in the hospital went to the conference room to film. Not only that, the others in the hospital, Kane and I, were both delirious from the despair disease. So that must mean... Come on, give me a switch up. There's no way I could kill someone. It's not literally impossible. Can't you give a better defense than that? Just shows she can't even do that. Hey, you sure this chick is really the killer? R wrong! I it's totally wrong! It's not what you think! Just like Akane said, it is really- I agree. It is truly difficult to believe someone could be killed by such a slow-witted woman. That slow-witted remark is not necessary. <laughs> and the woman Fine. thing. I've been like this for a long time. Women can murder too, man. In a tournament for social punching bags, I easily win first place with my soft reputation. Even I can't deny that. How many times do I have to tell you? It's impossible for me to kill someone. I'm serious. Very serious. What do you say, Hajime? Do you still believe this woman is the killer? Hey, Hajime! Uh, um... Everyone's ganging up on me. <laughs> Tricks aside, logic aside, is she really capable of doing something like this? Could be I'm the one making a mistake? No, no, don't doubt yourself. In fact, no. No, in fact. It'd be so much easier if I was wrong. If I have this much doubt about someone I've spent so much time with... Uh, can you hold on a minute? Oh, great, he got the crazy eyes. Well... I know I'm being intrusive and all, and I mean, I have no place to say this. I missed all of the critical parts, and I doubt I have anything worth saying at an important time like this. What are you saying? But still, there's definitely no... I thought it was suspicious all along, at the very beginning. Investigating with the suspect in mind creates a different result than investigating with no leads. Hey, what are you trying to say? Well, thanks to that, I was able to discover a truth that nobody else knows. Uh, are you serious? I 
I've been so focused on everybody else's trial. But I guess now's a good time to say it, right? You better not have kept quiet on purpose. This isn't a game, you know! Actually, this is a game! Hi. Please don't say such controversial statements. <laughs> you'll, get us, you'll, get us exact, you'll get us attacked on Reddit! Well, what do you know, Nagito? Well, it's nothing big, really. Only a small, decisive key that points to the killer. Dang! That's a huge deal! A decisive clue! Does something like that really exist? Let's take a look, shall we? Regarding the rope Mikuki was dangling from, this rope was supplied by the supermarket, right? There weren't any ropes inside the music venue. Again with the supermarket? That place is a hot spot for criminal goods. If they got it at the supermarket, that means it was brand new, right? What's wrong with that? I want you to take a close look at this rope. And keep in mind that it's brand new. Near the middle of the rope, it's frayed, as if it was rubbed strongly. But why is it like this? The loopy booky used to hang herself is on one end of the rope, and the part of the rope that hung from the baton lighting is on the other end. Hey, you're taking too long! It means... Well, from what I can infer, I think the rope was used like this. The killer wrapped the rope around Ibuki's neck, pulled both ends at full strength, and strangled him. The center of the rope is frayed because that's the part they used to strangle Ibuki. Darn. I've been listening to you for a while, and it sounds like you knew about this rope clue all along. What exactly did you say to me during the investigation? <laughs> Not everyone cooperates at a class trial. Those who lie and conceal the truth will obviously be here too. Just like this case's killer. I was just copying them a little bit. Huh? More importantly, what was all that about the rope? The killer strangled his booty. And then, and then, I finished speaking. Huh? Uh, okay, I'm gonna need to take a quick break, everybody. I'll be back in a second. Nagito's words contain a decisive clue? Is that really true? Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. 
Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? Yeah, we did. Must be it. <laughs> so that's oh, I love this game. We've been falling for the killer's lie this whole time. You said Ibuki hanged herself, but that was a complete lie, wasn't it, Mikan? That is. Well. You told us the wrong cause of death. You lied, didn't you? <laughs> you should have been able to tell the difference between hanging and strangling just by looking. You, Mikan, the ultimate nurse. Ultimate nurse! Right. And you have been a great help to us so far. But even a drunk medical student can notice the difference between a hanging and strangulation. I'm not taking her side or anything, but being clumsy and unskilled in this area could lead to a mistake. He's totally right. <laughs> Nikon nursed me till I got better. There's no way I'm gonna doubt her. Don't you think Don't worry, I will. The nursing is what helped her draw Ibuki to her death? Huh? And if not, her symptoms were still very serious and caused her to believe what anybody told her. It wouldn't surprise me if she willingly followed Mikan because she was nursing her. So, so Mikan volunteered to nurse us? Because she was planning to do this all along? That's a little... Aren't you like the thief who suspects everyone else of being thieves? What about me, bitch? I'm not a criminal. Mikan is. I mean... She's a killer, you know. You got it all wrong. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can forgive you. You should have killed me. I just can't forgive this crime at all. Uba? Um, forgiveness or not, we still have not decided if Mikan is the killer. Hmm. Hmm. I see. You guys are kind. Well, if that's the choice everyone makes. The only thing I can do is back off, I guess. Bruh, I... But is that really okay? I'm right here. Is that everyone's hope? I brought this shit up, man. You're friggin' annoying. If you keep talking, I'm seriously gonna beat you up. <laughs> I'm really, really not the killer. There's no way I'm capable of killing someone. Is that really true? Stop it already! That's enough! I can't stop. I don't want to do this either. Of course I don't want to do this. But I need to do this. You, you doubt your friends? That's not it. I suspect them because I want to believe them. Well, what the hell does that mean? Um, I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. Huh? Yeah, let's I get philosophical. Remember. But I still want to believe her. Belief lies at the heart of that conflict. Because if there's no room for doubt, then there's no reason to believe, is there? D don't say deep stuff. I don't really get it. I'm barely passing high school English. If you want to believe in someone, you need to overcome doubt first. Belief without doubt is simply a lie. Fine. Do whatever you want. I won't stop you anymore. Finally. Huh? Is that all you can say? There it is. Ah, so in the end, you're all just a bunch of bullies, huh? Justifying your actions with fancy words. Making excuses for why it's not really your fault. <laughs> Everyone always treats me like that. <laughs> always. <laughs> it's all her fault. She's the one with the problem. <laughs> I'm done with that. You hear me? I'm done. Hey, hey, Mikan. It's not fair. It's not fair. Not fair. Not fair, not fair, not fair, not fair, not fair, not fair, not fair! Why won't you forgive me? 
Murdered people. He's acting like this, your strategy now. This is annoying. Plus, to be honest, I've run out of ideas. How can we get you to admit? That's the issue. Not really. You just need to convince everyone else. If have any clues, why don't we have her give us some? Uh-huh. Jackie. Hey, Nikon. Can I ask you one last thing? If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watched? Like I said, it obviously wasn't me. Can you prove it? Prove it? Wait. Do you have any proof that I'm the one who fabricated that video? Did you just... Did you not... Unstable. <laughs> I'm not the killer. <laughs> I never filmed <laughs> that video. Hmm. It seems she finally started arguing for us. Uh huh. But the only one who can find a hole in her argument is you, Hajime. So I'm going to leave this to you once again. I bet if it could get like a justification for why I'm the only one who can do it, could it be? Was this Chucky's goal all along? She's saying everyone. She's saying everyone's fate depends on me. The only person who saw that video. Why do you get to decide I'm the killer? Where's your proof? Please forgive me already. I need to make up my mind. I'm the one who has to do it. I'm the one who's gonna finish this. Soul roach hanging smell scrap AC unit. I'm not the killer. We can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that video. Huh? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head for proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. Damn it! Okay, yeah, so the mistake is the camera angle. She fucking... Like, how would she know the camera angle? I'm not the killer! We can't think of anybody who could have filmed that. Huh? Deep. Is the hemp bag off? Is the hospital gap? Or could it be the hospital? Ibuki and Mika. Is that really? You could tell her body just from... Just from that... Just from that... There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type. So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. Okay, got it. Don't push the headset or I'm not the video. I'm not the killer! We can't think of anybody who could have filmed that. Deep is the hemp bag off the hospital gown she was wearing. Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? 
Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? I'll shoot through that contradiction! Nikon, you've committed a major mistake. Also, you fucked up. As I said before many times, I'm the only one who saw that video. <laughs> What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. <laughs> so how can you say anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself? <laughs> the only reason Nikon knew the camera angle Hajime had seen is because you're the person who actually filmed that video. Is that right? This is your just reward. The more desperately you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. You lied, didn't you? Are uh, you serious? Is it true, Mikan? Did you... Did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? Possible? You know that hemp bag Ibuki was wearing when she died? Try remembering the tote bag instead. Ding! I totally remember now. What the heck's wrong with her? She's getting weirder by the minute. Yeah, she is. That tote bag. Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? How do you know so much about that video? <laughs> Who cares about that? More importantly, did you know that bag is a limited item that was sold at the movie theater? Hajime saw it too, didn't you? You remember the Usami decal on it, right? Whoopsie! Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. Ta-da! There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. So don't you think it's impossible? Using one tote bag in both the conference room and the music venue at the same time? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? That's why that video isn't fabricated. And I'm not the killer. So you'll forgive me, right? Taking your stubbornness this far. Such despair. Motherfucker, everyone takes their stubbornness this far. No one in this goddamn game. No one in this franchise is willing to just accept. Me. Long time no see. Well, not really. It's time for the third panic talk action. This is probably going to be my last job during a class trial. Please humor me while I taint your eye ears one last time. Starting from this PTA, the reloaded ammo features will be added. You will no longer be able to make do with just the B button. Below the tempo marker in the lower portion of the screen, the number of bullets are displayed. From this point on, you'll need one bullet to destroy one remark. When you run out of bullets, you'll be you'll, you won't be able to destroy you'll be able to destroy the marks, no matter how much you mash B. You'll be able to refresh your bullets by pressing the X button to reload. Just by locking on, just just like locking on, press the X button in time with tempo marker. The controls are the same as the B button. Match the tempo marker with e by either pressing the X button. Oh, sorry. Match the tempo marker either by pressing the X button. The number of bullets will be refreshed. The number of bullets refreshed is based on how well you keep you kept the tempo. If you get the timing wrong when you press the X button, bullets will not be refreshed. So please be careful. Also, your aim will be completely refreshed and will not run out during fever time. If your difficulty letter level is set to gentle, you do not need to reload. I guess this was a pretty useless explanation, even though it was the last one. That should be all the explanations of the class trial. The rest is up to you to overcome. You should be able to find it beyond this point. What both you and I yearn for. True despair. Well then, good luck and have fun. Good? Uh, yep. Will you forgive me? You'll forgive me, right? 
isn't that right? You're obvious to so forgive me, right? At this rate, we're not gonna get we're not getting anywhere. I gotta do something and end this. I gotta do something so I can make her admit it. received another one as a bonus prize which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places so please just stop making desperate excuses why why can't you forgive me why it seems your desperate struggle is finally coming to an end why does everybody always hate me you can just forgive me already Nikon, it's already over after I go over your crime from the beginning, and show that you have no arguments left. Please, just admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you. Closing arguments, let's go, I love this part. Switch the surveillance unit camera on. Yeah, no. Go ahead and take it over again. Damn it! What the shit, dude? Okay, I don't have anything for that then. Fuck! Was the real lock room created? Small clue the killer left. Last stock, okay. Where'd the killer do after the broadcast? Moved that. It's 
Snap to the drumstick. How is locker room created? Here's everything that happened in this case. Whew, okay. The key to this incident is the surveillance camera video that only I saw. That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. When I went to the hospital with Mekon this morning, I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was bleeding ahead of the scheduled time. When I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was a person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music video. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music video, so I immediately headed over there. But that was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time, when in fact, the crime had already been committed by them. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. I didn't know that, so I went to the music room and found the hanged body wearing a bag on its head. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. But that was also part of the killer's trap. After cleaning the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music venue from outside. And as if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music venue and began working on their last trick. First, I still the love this. The wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, this guy made a fake pillar, whatever. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper or have Hyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music video, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. However, they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. The killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko. They helped us force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. <laughs> they made us discover not just Ibuki's body. Everyone else Hiyoko is like fucking present body as well. foot forward and everything, and fuck Fuyuhiko is just like, yeah, I'm a soccer kick this, whatever. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? Girl, M Mikon, you what has happened to you? Whoa, there before that, a moment of your time. Alrighty, what I got. Oh, the bee, not bad. 
It seems your arguments have reached the conclusion. So let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time. And we will do that next time, because I am very tired. Uh, thank you all for joining me. I'll be back with the conclusion of this and getting into the next chapter, chapter four. Uh, but until then, I'm dead. I'll see you guys next time. Excuse me while I whip this out.